Island News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier Hawaii Realty. Happy Monday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. New at midday, a courtroom update on one of the worst cases of embezzlement on Oahu. The husband of Lola Jean Amarin, Albert Amarin, appeared in circuit court on charges of tax evasion. Lola Jean Amarin is charged with stealing nearly $7 million from a nonprofit organization that serves children and adults with disabilities. New evidence shows Albert Amarin has been added as a defendant. Also new at midday, a power outage at district court causes a brief headache for some. The power went out at the Alakea Street location around 645 this morning. Now in the video you can see people standing in line waiting to get in the building. Also tables were brought out to reschedule people's court dates in the old-fashioned way using paper and pencil. Power was restored before 9 a.m. Non-custody cases will be rescheduled. A man is in critical condition after being hit by a car late last night in Haula. Police say just before midnight, a man was driving southbound on Kamehameha Highway when he hit a 66-year-old man. That happened in front of the 7-Eleven store in the area. Now, this is new video of the scene, which has since been cleared. Police say the victim was not in a marked crosswalk. They believe lighting and weather conditions in the area may have caused for the accident. And an update on a water main break in Kaneohe. Kamehameha Highway now back open this today, and that break shut down the highway at White Kalua Road, fronting Parker School earlier this morning. Now you could see new video we shot traffic flowing once again, and the Board of Water Supply reopened that roadway just before 7 a.m. Now, as always, don't forget to tune into Island News tonight at 5, 6, and 10 for the very latest on these stories and more. Up next, our Jordan Segundo will have more with your island weather right after these messages. Have a great day.